Hi coder, welcome back to Leads Code. In this one, we discuss Leads Code problem three thousand three hundred fifty five zero array transformation one. So the problem shows that you are given an integer array names of length n and a two D array queries two D array where queries I contain l i and r i two two value l i and r i. So for each queries I select a subset of indices within the range. Li and Ri in nums, so decrement the value of values at the selected indices by one. So a zero array is an array where all elements are equal to zero. So we have to return true if it is possible to transform nums array into a zero array after processing all the queries sequentially. Otherwise, return false. So we have to select the subset of like subset of indices. Suppose Li and Ri contain suppose one comma four. So this is one query, one query. So they actually try. What actually we can actually do? So we can actually select index one, two, three, four. So any one of any one of or none of this we can actually select index indexes uh, out of all of this. Then actually we can what we will do? We will decrease the value by one or we will decrease by minus one. Okay, got it. So select a subset of indices within the range L I and R I in nums and decrement the values at the selected indices by one. Okay. So finally, after uh, doing the operation, this queries uh, from the array queries, we have to check that the ultimate our array, the nums array, it is actually all elements are zero or not. If it is all are zero, then we have to return true. Else we have to return false. Correct. The problem still is clear. Now go to the example one. So what is the example one? The array is one zero one. Okay. And queries first queries is zero comma two, so what actually we can do? We need to select index zero, one, and two. These three index actually we can choose. Okay, then what we'll do? We will actually uh, select those indices, and what we'll do? We will decrease the value. So suppose we select the index zero, so it is actually one. So after if we select this index, then what will be the value? It will be value will be zero because because it will be decreased by one. And this is already zero. So do I, should I select this index? No. So this will be actually zero. And this is one. So can I select this? Yes. This actually uh, within their queries range. So we can just select this, and the value will be decreased by one. So this will be the our nums array now. After uh, this operation, now how many query? Only one query is present. So that's why this is the uh, ultimate nums array. So this is the nums array. Now we have to check that this actually array is zero array or not. So each element actually zero. So this actually uh, zero ar array. So we have to return true. Okay. Now go to the next example. Four three two one, and query is first query is actually one three. Next query is zero comma two. So first query is one comma three. So what index actually we can choose one two three. So one two three means zero one two three. So one two three this value actually this three nums actually we can number actually we can actually select. So first of all this is actually uh, we have to select because this is value is greater than one greater than zero. So we have to decrease this. So we will decrease by two. This also will be uh, select selected. So number value will be one and one is will be selected and now value will be zero. Okay. So this is the uh, after query is one. Now second query is then what is the index actually we can choose zero. One two, right? This three index actually we can choose. So this value will be decreased by one. This value will be decreased by one. This value will be three. Now this index actually I can also choose index one. So this value will be decreased by one. Now value will be one. This also I can actually choose. So this will be zero, and this is already zero. So it will be zero. So uh, we have actually already processed all the queries. So ultimate this is the num array, final num array. So this is is this a zero array? No, because there are two elements numbers. That is not actually zero, so that's why we have to return false here. Correct. This is clear. Now, what you have to uh, do actually, brute force approach. Brute force approach will be what? So we will be having a num array. Suppose uh, for this example, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, so this is the our input array names. Now we got one queries, first queries. So suppose we got actually index one comma three. Okay. Now what we'll do? 
what is the brute force approach what will do we will actually choose any indexes out of this range this range and we will decrease the value by one if it is not zero if it is already zero we have already reached our target because we have to uh, somehow actually try to uh, convert the number into number zero right so that's why if it is already zero then we do not need to do anything if it is not zero then what we will do we will choose that uh, index and decrease the value by one correct now brute force approach what we got one range one comma three so i will iterate all the indices from one two three this is one for loop we will select all the indices out of this then we will choose we will see the condition if nums i or nums one is greater than zero then what we will do nums one will be decreased by one got it similar way uh, for nums two nums three in this way if it is greater than zero then i will decrease this so for each queries i will do this for each queries so this i will call for each queries correct this is clear then after each uh, after completing all the queries i will check the ultimate nums array each all our elements are zero or not so what will time suit of this here brute force approach clear right for each queries i will get one things l and r and for l to r i will actually iterate all indices from l to r so then I, what will do I will do that uh, if the current index from L to R is any one of this index is uh, greater than zero, then I will decrease the value by one. Okay. So if suppose there are n q queries, okay, and for q queries, actually our L L and R can be the uh, rightmost means L can be zero and R can be n minus one. This is possible. So this range is length is n. So for each queries, if I iterate the uh, array n times. N times we are this for loop will run, and q, there are q queries, so the time total q into n, it is clear. So it is almost time total n square, and after that we are actually uh, finally after oper uh, processing all the queries, I, I have to iterate the uh, num array again. That we have to check that each element is zero or not. So that's the total time total for this brute force approach will be big of n square plus n n square for uh, processing the each queries and and for this n to iterate the at the end dumb array to check each element is mm, zero or not this is clear so this will obviously give us the tle right so how can i actually optimize this so one thing actually we have to observe like finally what we have to do suppose we have actually add uh, array four three two one again same array so I got one queries. Uh, suppose this is queries one comma um, zero one two three one comma three, and suppose zero comma two in this way. Okay. So what actually ultimately doing? We can actually decrease uh, all the num nums from uh, with range one two three, one two three. So what I'll do? So I will check what is the maximum value I can actually decrease by doing the operation, because each operation actually will. Uh, decrease the each index value by minus one, correct? So what will do? Here actually prefix sum will be used. How? So this is suppose the uh, four uh, index. Okay. So I'll uh, so what th does this mean? This this query is first query is meaning that means that the I will uh, start from zero one two three. So I'll st in decrease the value from index one two three, right? So I will increase by minus one, minus one, minus one. Okay. So what does that mean actually? This means that from here actually, I will decrease the value minus one. Here also minus one, minus one. Correct. So ultimate what action I can write actually before doing the prefix sum, I will actually store only one here. And here actually plus one to select that. Okay. So opposite you can uh, reverse also you can do. Like you can also store here actually uh, plus one and here actually minus one. Okay. So what does it mean that from index one to index three, our value will be decreased by one. You can check if I do the prefix sum, then ultimately what will do? So this will store, this will be zero because there is no actually till now there is no, uh, okay. Do the actually both the queries, then actually it will be final array. Then it will be actually more clear. So this is the uh, after queries one. Now after queries two, what does it mean zero to two? So zero to two means uh, zero one two, zero one two three four. 
why 4 extra because I will actually explain later so 0 to 2 so for for from index 0 our value will be decreased by 1 and and at the index 3 it will be actually because 0 to 2 it will be the effective effective range so at the index 3 I will actually uh, decreased by 1 because from index 3 our value will be this effect of this decrement will be uh, gone right so if I do the prefix sum now so here actually it is already present plus 1 and here actually it is present minus 1 okay so if I do the prefix in num prefix sum so this will be 1 this will be 1 2 this will be again 2 this will be 1 this will be actually 0 okay this will be always 0 ultimately after doing the prefix sum because this is the extra index to handle the plus 1 situation because it may present that uh, here actually 0 to 1 to 3 3 is the last index so if I do the when it where on which index the effect of this queries will be uh, gone at the index 4 but there is no 4 index so that's why I to handle this I actually added extra index okay now this is clear why actually extra index now uh, now it is clear for u 0 1 2 3 4 so now you can check for index 0 what is the maximum value I can actually decrease I can actually maximum decrease 1 it is clear like you can check what is the ultimate value actually we can achieve 4 3 2 1 first was uh, 1 comma 3 then 0 comma 2 correct now you can check 0 0 index 0 is effective only one one queries so what is the maximum value I can actually achieve 4 minus 1 I can actually achieve 3 correct now for index 1 what is the nums nums value for index 1 3 and how many maximum uh, what is the maximum value action I can actually decrease 2 so the nums can be achieved up to 1 for this index 2 what is the nums value nums value is 2 and how many actually how, how much actually we can decrease decrease by 2 so yeah it can achieve actually 0 for this one so what is the nums value nums value is again one one minus one it is actually zero correct for this index so i can actually achieve zero but now ultimately we can you can actually see what is the maximum value i can actually decrease correct now this this number actually we can achieve three so this is not zero so we have to return false we do not need to check any other elements because any one of this is not zero that means this is not a zero array correct how it's the prefix i'm actually helping us here this actually indicate the maximum uh, maximum core is the part of this this index is uh, how many actual core is it a part of, or how many queries means uh, what is the maximum value i can actually decrease because here actually we can decrease by one only so that's why if one means uh, only one query is actually um, actually uh, part of this two means two queries q1 suppose q2 both and 3 means 3 queries q1 q2 q3 3 queries actually it is part of this so it can actually effectively decrease by 3 ultimately correct so it is clear now ultimately this prefix sum and the nums array i will check uh, i can actually decrease the decrease into 0 or not okay so now go to actually code then it will be more clear so if the process uh, algorithm and approach is clear please like the video if you if you have any doubt you can comment on that and if you not subscribe please subscribe the channel now go to the actually code so n is the num number of elements present in the input array nums and there is queries 2d vector one will be li and another will be ri so we will take a prefix uh, vector where actually the n plus one i have already explained because to handle the last index n plus one so initially all are effectively zero so i am actually now traversing the each queries i will get what one l and another r so the our our effect will start from index l, l. so that's why i'm starting a prefix of i0 this is l l will be that particular index i will be increase the prefix um, the if uh, effect effect of this particular query and particular index i plus one r plus one our effect will be gone not present so that's why that particular index i will actually decrease by minus 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 one okay i plus one plus one got it so this is clear so now i have to do I have to do I will just do the prefix sum and I will check for each index uh, for each index I will store what is the maximum value I can actually de decrease maximum value 
correct so this actually i am doing what i am starting from i is equal to 1 because zero there is no prefix uh, prefix uh, index so that's why i am starting from z1 and prefix i will be added to prefix i minus 1 got it now what i have to do i actually have num psi and i have actually prefix i so what does this mean this means that uh, what is the number is present in the input array and prefix i indicates that how much actually we can actually decrease correct so i'll check maximum how can actually how much you can decrease so if suppose nums num psi is x and uh, i can actually decrease by y okay so if x is less than less than equal to y that means what we can actually decrease this correct so that's why i'm checking if prefix i if less than num psi that means return false we can't actually convert to zero if y is less than x can I actually convert this into uh, x minus x minus y is possible to zero not possible because y is less than x x value is suppose 10 y value is suppose 9 can i can i actually convert this uh, into zero no because maximum i can actually achieve 10 minus 9 i can actually achieve 1 but if suppose we actually have x is equal to suppose 12 y is equal to have 20 can i achieve zero obviously uh, after 12 operation we can actually do this i will achieve zero so that's why if if uh, it is possible then we don't, return, uh, we don't need to do anything we will go to the next index if it is y less than x that time return false because any one of this not zero that it, that time this is not zero array so return false and ultimately after all of this checking i return true that this is uh, possible to achieve zero array it is clear i already shared this code in the description you can actually follow that okay it is clear if you any doubt actually comment on that and time is already I have actually explained like here actually I am doing I have taken a time is will be what here actually we are actually taking a uh, iterating the each query constant time because I am just it, uh, it, uh, accessing the particular index L or R plus 1 like for this will be constant time so for each query I am running this for loop so time is for this will be big of Q here also same big of N I am iterating the prefix uh, vector and similarly here actually I am traversing the each uh, nums again n so i'll do time so it will be big of q plus uh, big of n plus big of n it is clear now what is the space complexity we have taken a prefix vector of n plus one size so space complexity big of n plus one any other things no we are not in anything okay it is clear right time and space complexity and also the approach how we actually convert this from brute force approach to um, optimized approach from n squared to big of n here actually ultimately big of n all are actually linear thank you